Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Zach with Zach Attack Cards, and we're stepping back out onto the baseball diamond in this one with Topps Heritage High Number 2023. Now, I know what y'all are thinking. I talked about Heritage before and how it's it's it used to be one of my favorites, and then and it started including all the short prints, so building the sets, you know, became a nightmare. But here's the thing right so with these hobby boxes first off they're still readily available just about everywhere and i want to say the most expensive price i've seen it for is like 75 dollars. i ended up getting this for 60 which you can find it at different hobby shops and such for 60 card shows for 60 and i think it's a tremendous buy that a lot of people are not looking into right so we all know the story with Heritage. Not a lot of numbered parallels, not a lot of parallels in, in total. Um, it's really just looking for, you know, the rookie cards. Maybe you get a hot box, um, building, set building, uh, which again, high number is always easier to put together because I want to say it's only like two to two, 250 in terms of uh, set size as opposed to low number, which is like double that. So... But what people aren't looking at is the value of this, right? So let's say you get it for 60 bucks like I did. $60, you can also get retail. There's blasters, right, for 25 each. So roughly the cost of two blasters plus $10. And there's also the mega box in retail, which costs, I believe, $49.99. So once again, one of those plus 10 bucks. And in this case, you're getting a lot more cards and you're getting the ability to, again, possibly get a hot box. You're getting hobby packs, which, uh, again, if you're, if you're on, the, on the side of hobby is always better than retail, then this is the way to go. So just going to open it up. Uh, it'll be kind of a little video as we, as we sit here in heavy anticipation for Series 1, releasing right around Valentine's Day. I believe it is Valentine's Day, right? The 14th of February. Um, but a little bit, a little bit more of 23 still to go. Hopefully you're going to get some stadium club here pretty soon as well. And then before you know it, we will be into 2024 baseball. Well, let's see if we can get this nice and open. And let's see if the value's there. That's, I mean, in, in terms of a dollar for dollar, I think the value is clearly there. It's just a matter of. Can you actually get anything worth it from these boxes? And that's going to be what we set out to answer today. So I'm having a little bit of difficulty getting it open. But here we go. Didn't even bother getting a box of the low number this year. Like I said, I was basically out on Heritage until I, until I you know, figured out that this is a pretty incredible deal. Again, it at least looks like that. Can we... Whoa! Look at that! Right off the bat, the box topper! Raphael Devers! That is so cool! Well, wait a minute, actually. I'm going to have to temper myself, right? Because that is a facsimile autograph. Oh, I think that... <laughs> I think I got tricked. I'll have to double check that after the video, but I want to say these are, n this is a facsimile auto. There's also nothing on here about, you know, this being an autograph or anything. Okay, well, so apologies for that. Uh, a little bit of an early surprise, but uh, let's see what we can get out of this box. Heritage high number, lots of packs, lots of cards. Try not to take too long in getting it all opened up. I realize I've already talked for five minutes, so we will get things moving along. Maybe we'll just move the box to the back here, make it a little background, and get right into it. So it does guarantee you, as always, a relic or auto. My luck with Heritage is almost always a relic so let's see if we can break that and look at that first pack has a purple i don't normally 
sheet like that, but Brian Ruscio, when you can see it, I, you know, I don't try to hide it. Orlando Arcia. Uh, I reversed my piles here. Got to change them back, otherwise my obsessiveness will go crazy. <laughs> Miguel Rojas. Anthony Discalafini. There is some nice, uh, very nice photography. Uh, not as nice as things like Stadium Club and such, but still nice photography to heritage. There's the hammer. And we got ourselves a purple matte veerling. Is that... That is not numbered. So perhaps just a parallel, I guess, to go chasing. Also a little bit off center there. Uh, we got Brent Rooker, Visael Garcia, and, ooh, there you go, Edward Julian. It's a nice rookie. I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit. Ooh, the purple. Is this a hot box? I feel like this might be a hot box because it looks like there's another purple in this pack. So that is pretty sweet. But like I said, I believe you can get hot boxes in retail as well. Again, not something not something I know for sure, but at the same time it's it's uh ooh, Oscar Kolos too. Vlad and Bobachette. But just something that I think that is an insert. Okay. But Oscar Kolos is a very nice rookie to get in the purple. Matt McLean, another very nice rookie there. Luis Arias and Freddy Peralta. Arias is perhaps the best hitter in the game at the moment. Jacob DeGrom. A lot of landscape. Woodford. Correa. Edward Cabrera. And we get to Jordan Walker. There we go. Another nice purple. Again, sadly, they're all a, at least a hair off center, but they are gorgeous. I never uh, really pulled these before in the past, so that's that's really cool. Reese McGuire and Miguel Vargas. And moving along to the next pack, we got Kevin Kelly, rookie. Brenton Doyle, rookie. We got David Dahl, Michael Lorenzen, and Matt Duffy, followed by Justin Verlander in his Astros uniform. McKinley Moore, Camilo Duvall, and Mike Moustakis. So obviously, there was a lot of the big name rookies in the low number series, so I don't think you'll be seeing too many of the. Uh, you know, like my young birds and stuff in here. There's Oscar Colas, the standard rookie. And to Maeda, Cesar Salazar, and Logan Allen, followed by Tristan Casas. Wow, we're hitting the names on the purples. I will tell you that. Very nice. We got Mark Canha, Tommy Pham, Ronaldo Lopez, and Johnny Brito. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about Heritage. Again, I think it's a pretty, it's a, a pretty widely held Manuel Valdez rookie um, opinion that, you know, that the, the hardcore collectors kind of steer away from it. It's really more so designed for set builders and things like that because, again, the lack of Parallels, numbered cards, etc. Ooh, Juan then, rookie. Very nice. Got Jordan Walker, rookie. Looks like a, a different one than. Interesting. Got two different rookies, I guess, in the set. <laughs> Very nice, though. JD Davis and Kodai Senga would be another solid purple if we can nail it. I'm not sure where he sits on that staff, but he could very well be the ace for the Mets next season. Jonathan Daza. Got Seth Lugo. Got Jose Siri. We got ourselves a nice rookie performers. Bryce Tarang. 
Followed by Xander Bogarts. Nice name there. Robbie Grossman. Il Demaro Vargas, possibly. Mauricio Dubon and Corey Jolks. Or Jolks, not 100%. Bought this box at my local hobby shop. Like I said, he was selling them for 60 bucks. So, I mean, with tax, ended up being like maybe 63 bucks. Not, not bad at all. Matt Mervis, good rookie name. Yuri Perez, excellent rookie name. High hopes for him again next season. Mike Schmidt, 74 highlights. Oh, by Taj Bradley on the rookie purple. Not bad. I say it looks to me like they're all maybe, what is that, maybe 60 40 right to left. Up and down, not so bad. But right to left all appear to be off just a hair. Cutchin and Jose Barrios. Oh, hoping I can pull an autograph for the first time at a Heritage. I did pull one, oh man, back in 2001, I think. And uh, it was not a top name of any kind. But I do like that they do the on-card autos in an affordable set. Very similar to, oh, ooh, Ryan Mountcastle. There we go. And the City Connect. Um, very similar to Stadium Club. Like It's, it's on-card and it's cheaper. Miguel Vargas, rookie. There we go. Nice. So it's almost like maybe, do the purples just have different pictures or something? Like, I apologize. I'm going to have to do a lot of uh, research after this, but... As I've said before, I don't like to do a ton of research going into an opening. I like to be surprised. I like to have genuine reactions. And Pablo Lopez. So that's why something like the Devers could so easily trick me. Luis Medina. Got Harold Castro. Got Adam Frazier from my O's. Carl Kaufman. And we've got Devin Williams now. Jan Gomes, J.D. Martinez, Taylor Motter, Motor, Motor maybe, and Dylan Dodd on the rookie. This is the 1974 Tops design, so I like the design. I mean, there's definitely a little, there's a lot going on with the position, name, team name, you know, and this one obviously has the American League because it happens to be the Angels, but normally it's the city. So Anthony Rendon, but not bad. I like the the you know the way the colors kind of pop. Kyle Gibson. We got Miami's Vices, Chisholm and Arias. That's cool. Tanner Huck on our next purple. Luis Garcia, Andrew Heaney, and Trevor Rogers. Oh, it's just about Throwing up the veteran side of my sorter. We got Cal Stevenson, rookie. Moving on to Jose Hernandez, rookie, and Dominic Fletcher, and Hobie Harris. Followed by Christian Vasquez. Moving on to Tanner Bibby, it's a nice rookie. Thaddeus Ward. Wow, Mason Miller, a lot of rookies. Blake Sable, I feel like almost that whole pack except the except the purple. Uh, was rookie. Nice product though. I mean, I'm gonna have to again kind of temper the review a little bit. Just due to the fact that the, you know you're not gonna get the purples all the time. Gus Varlin. A lot of rookies in this pack. Peyton Battenfield. There's Masataka Yoshida. Spencer Steer. We've got Sean Manaya. Donovan Solano. Miles Mastroboni. Jackie Bradley Jr. All right, let's switch out the veteran pile. And finish off this box. We get to get our swatch or autograph. Zach Grenke, we got Estuary Ruiz, Juan Yepes, 22 Cy Young winner, Aya Areno, uh, Sandy Alcantara, Lucas Giolito, so a bit of a dry spell now for the rookies in the purple, JJ Vlade, we got Justin Verlander, 
Jose Urena, and David Robertson. Nolan Arenado. And Tyler Stevenson. We got Will Benson on the rookie. Vince Velasquez. And we got, ooh, there we go. That's a hit. That's a personal hit there. Kyle Stowers on the rookie purple. Bring it. Xander Bogarts. Evan Newman. Ryan McKenna. And Lennon Sosa, rookie. But as you can see, you know, if the if the purples weren't here, there would be, I mean, they're not numbered anyway, but I was going to say there would be next to no parallels or numbered parallels in the whole thing. Mason Englert, Sam Bachman, and we have ourselves Taylor Rogers. That, we get that one already? Maybe we got his brother, Trevor. Jordan Romano, we got Juan then. Standard rookie, Hubert Ruiz, and Ryan Weathers. So definitely a little late to the party with this one, but as I said, I was going back and forth on whether or not to, to actually bring it to the channel, uh, buy it and bring it to the channel, because it just wasn't feeling heritage this year. We got Yuli Gurriel, and we have ourselves an auto. We nailed it. We got a rookie, Michael Stefanik. Top certified auto. Look at that. Not numbered or anything, but very nice. So we get an auto instead of a instead of a uh, patch this time. How about that? Jack Flaherty on the O's. We got T.J. Friedel. We got Carlos Vargas, Taj Bradley, and Adam Duvall. So really can't ask for. Uh, Better box, I wouldn't think. You know, we got ended up getting the auto instead of a swatch. Got the 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 purple hot box cards. Oh, Yenner can know. Perfect. The all-star reliever for my O's. Grayson Rodriguez, there we go. Nice little run there. Brett Sullivan, Ben Joyce, and we have Kyle Gibson on the purple. Got a good number of my O's. Sebi Savala. We got Jesse Schultons, David Bednar, and David Peterson. Just a few more packs to go. Let's see if there's anything of interest. Zach Neto, there we go. Tim Heron, Levi Stout, Kyle Higashioka, Anthony Volpe, rookie performers. Nice insert there. And Pablo Lopez on the purple. Tristan Casas, regular rookie, Jose Caballero, and Nick Fortes. So there's some good rookies in here too. I mean, Casas, Bibby, Mervis, Yoshida. You know, those are some Perez. Those are some nice, nice names. Evan Kiermeyer, Casey Schmidt, Michael Chavis, JD Martinez on the purple. Armor Candelario, Eddie Rosario, Jake Berger, and Christian Bethencourt. Well, we got four to go, four to go. And I think we're just going to rip all four in ourselves a little mega rip style here. Let's try and get you guys all out of here right around 20 minutes. As I said, I... Try to respect your time as best I can. I don't want to put out incredibly long videos that require large time investments. And here we go. Alex Cobb, Matt Carpenter. Got Josh Young. Very nice rookie there. Also in the set. Michael Taglia. And we have ourselves another rookie purple. This time, Jared Schuster. We have Kellenick. We have regular Jared Schuster, Bryce Terang, Jordan Montgomery, Ryan Noda, Michael Bush. Got now and then, third youngest to 200 saves. And we have Mason Miller on the rookie. So just a few of them left. Sean Manaya, 
We have an Adam Heasley turned upside down here. Okay, let's, uh, okay, we have two, so maybe it's just an error. Adam Heasley and, uh, I don't see anything marked on them, so I'm gonna guess that's just a bit of a packing mistake or whatever. Logan Allen, Brett Wisely. We got Michael Bush on the not purple. Number, there we go, to 999, number 239, Michael Bush. Very similar to the purples, just not. <laughs> really cool. All right, so got a numbered card. We got Miguel Amaya. Got Cole Raggins, Brian Anderson. There's Trey Turner, Jake Cave. Ryan Jeffers, Andrew Bellotti. Johan Oviedo, maybe? Nick Matong. Our last purple is Camilla Duvall. We got Kyle Stowers. There we go. Chris Stratton, Devin Williams, and finishing on Stone Garrett. What a name there. Well, I mean, not bad. Not bad at all. Again, for 60 bucks, ended up getting a numbered card, ended up getting the auto as opposed to the patch. Uh, got all these really nice purple cards, which I'm going to say again, I believe suggests that this is a hot box, but I'll, I'll double check after this. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to learn from you guys as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to say that, listen, a lot of people passing this up, but this is a, this is a nice little, you know, chance to maybe get something really cool. You know, it's, it's, and it's not that much more of an investment. So if you can get yourself to a hobby shop and you want this product, I suggest looking at, at this instead of retail for sure. Uh, but with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get you guys on out of here. If you could head down below, hit that little subscribe button. We put out videos every Monday and Friday. And click the like while you're there if you've enjoyed this little video here. I'll be sure to bring you more content. And uh, yeah, last thing to say, as always, is just thank you. Thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. Thanks for each and every second that each and every one of you spend with me. I, I truly appreciate it, and it, and it means the world. Um, but with that said, I'll get you guys on out of here. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.